ladies and gentlemen, one more time, welcome back to the continuation of Sales Summit 2023. You're watching us live from Kantipur HD, and we'd like to one more time welcome you back again. Well, I'm sure we're back from the lunch mood. Back to the room, I just have a small brain teaser exercise. So I'd like to request point your fingers towards me, right hand, point your finger towards me, and then you're going to make a triangle. a triangle. Triangle. Okay. And now point your left hand towards me and make a triangle again, two triangles. Okay, now, right hand but a triangle, left hand but a rectangular, right? So we'll see if you can do that or not. One, two, go. Well, thank you so much, we're back, and this is the uh, second half of Sales Summit 2023, and hope you enjoyed your lunch. And we had, I really hope you had an opportunity to recharge and network as well. Uh, we do have also time for networking later. As we embark on the second half uh, of this exciting day, we are ready for some insightful sessions, engaging discussions, and valuable connection as well. This uh, program that we say, Sales Summit 2023, is organized by Growth Leadership Academy, managed by Corporate Club Nepal, and ventured by Growth Sellers Private Limited. We'd like to thank all our sponsors, our platinum sponsor, KNP Japan Private Limited, our diamond sponsor, Kumari Bank Limited, our gold sponsor, DAV College, Nepal Bank Limited, Mahalakshmi Bikas Bank Limited, Joy, Hiltake, 2 p.m. Pasta Noodles, KFC, Pizza Hut, our silver sponsor, Siddharth Premier Insurance Limited, Panchakanya Group, Sanima Reliance Life Insurance Limited, our broadcasting partner, Kantipur HD, Kantipur Cineplex, and SMS partner, Sparrow SMS. So, I have a question important. Well, in our pursuit of success, question the amount of stress that salesperson actually take is in a very maximum level, and there have been questions regarding it. So we do have a session for it. This session is the stress management session. And it is very crucial to address the elephant in the room, which is stress, in terms of work. So this is our fifth session, and we have a very transformative turn as we get into stress management, get into finding peace. Uh, so it could be in different ways. I think the most important thing is it's our honor to actually have the beacon of wisdom guide us through this journey with great community sentiments, such giving and inspiration as well. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to His Eminence, Shalpa Tenzing Rinpoche, who will be leading the stress management session today. His Eminence, Shalpa Tenzing Rinpoche, is not just a name. He is an embodiment of spiritual wisdom and enlightenment. With profound insights and a compassionate heart, Rinpoche has touched the lives of countless individuals, helping them navigate stress and find peace amidst life challenges. Well, as I've introduced, I'd like to invite on stage one more time, His Eminence Shalpa Tenzing Rinpoche. We are going to start the program with a video. So, Pahilati Yaharko Dhyana Akarshan must screen Tarfa Gana Chansu. This Pachi Rinpoche will be taking the stage. So, I'd like to request for your attention towards the audiovisual, please.
are talking about mind. You know, today all of you are here in this wonderful hall because of your success. It's because of your beautiful mind, your creative mind, your intelligent mind brought you in this place. Actually, if you think about it right now, in Kathmandu alone, there's millions of people walking around. Out of that, you most successful gentlemen and ladies are here in this hall because of the accomplishment of your mind. First and foremost, please remember that you have this beautiful mind. Do you all agree? I am honoring you and respecting you, not because you have so much money, not because you are running a big company. I'm honoring you and respecting you because you have a beautiful mind. We all must experience this. We all must acknowledge this. From there, we can start talking about the stress. Kina, we experience stress. When we are not able to truly experience the real quality of our mind, we are distracted. We are seduced. We are enslaved. We attach to things. We condition everything. From there, stress is originating in our lives. Is it necessary? Do we have to condition everything? Do we have to attach to everything? Do you have to let yourself be seduced by everything? Do you have to let yourself be enslaved by everything? Do you have to only chase after material is everything? This is something we all must ask to ourselves. Here, when we talk about stress, relieving the stress, being able to free from chaotic world that we have created, is to talk about how we can find ways to celebrate our success. You all have achieved so much. You have accomplished so much. We must start by experiencing gratefulness for being able to be who we are so far. Life is not about reaching somewhere. Life is about being able to enjoy the process. Life is about experiencing our energy, the flow of energy, unobstructedly arising each and every moment as a source of celebration, not a source of pain, suffering, and difficulties. So this is something that we all must be aware of. Today, as you know, you know I have experienced a lot because I traveled for the last 35 years all over the world. And I normally don't come to speak in this way, in this in a kind of crowds. Because I feel that it's more effective if I can talk to each individual. Sometimes, of course, that is not, how do you say it, 
useful for mass public. I have been traveling all over the world and sharing with the Fortune 500 CEOs and a multi-billionaire and a company owners around the world. The people like <clears throat> okay, I don't want to mention them, maybe not necessary. But uh, these are the top business leaders around the world. And they have achieved so much. And they are now interested in finding something they can truly experience, have a lasting impact in their lives. And they become very good friends of mine. And we have a regular conversation from all over the world. But today, I chose to be here because these two gentlemen here requested me again and again to share something here with our own brothers and sisters. So I'm honored to be here on this peaceful land. And Nepal, the Himalayas, this is the one of the most sacred land that I have found on this earth. And uh, last 20 years, I was really watching very closely. Our brothers and sisters in this region are more sophisticated than many parts of the world. Many people think that America is very big and great, wonderful country. But sometimes I feel we have more sophisticated people here in this part of the world than such as America. And these things we should recognize. I'm not trying to say something sweet to you to make you feel good. And this is what I have been researching, I am finding. Maybe this is a blessing because for thousands of years, many rishis and munis wandering all over this region and able to achieve real peace, real understanding, and the real value of their beautiful minds. Today, I feel that we have responsibilities to associate with our ancient forefathers and their wisdoms. So lately, last four or five years, I was trying to meet with our friends and our counterparts. And I am promoting Omkar Parivar. And this is also very important because when we are talking about stress, stress <clears throat> comes when we do not have broad mind, when we do not have open mind, when we do not create unconditional space for us to maneuver in whatever field that we are in. If we are able to think in this way, if we are able to give opportunity to ourselves to see a bigger picture, I do not see any reasons to have stress in our lives. And one another thing, no matter how stressful time you have in your office, in your business, and wherever, most important thing is to remember that you have ability to solve that crisis. Therefore, crisis has no power to control you. It is very important to remember that your beautiful mind has a power to solve any problem there is. Only thing is, when we forget the unconditional nature of our mind, 
we are bound by conditional things. And that conditional things in front of us is created by us by conditioning it. Then we lose our esteem, we lose our confidence. Then we try to seek validation from somewhere else. We do not feel we are valid enough because we do not see our qualities. Remember, even if you are seeking validation from your own thoughts, is a problematic. Because thoughts originated once we condition anything. And that thought is like a bubble. I cannot stand by itself independently. Like a river, our energy flows. There's no one single thing that can exist by itself if we do not support. So-called we. If we have a solid, conditional idea of we, that is the source of stress, source of problem. Today, here, you all are worth billions of rupees in this room alone from your companies. One day, there will be a time we will be not able to hear it. Our friends and families will be reciting Ram Nam Satya He. They will bring us to Pashupati site or any cremation sites. At that time, not a single rupee that you all have in your bank account will be able to go with you. You have to leave everything. Therefore, right now, it is very important to be independent from everything. Then you are the richest man. You are the richest woman on this earth because you are able to experience the richness of your life. You will be able to see the abundance that is all over surrounding us. So these things may sound very simple in one way, but if you really think about it, that the root of problem lies in our ignorance. Nothing else, but we must be able to reignite that light within, the clarity there that is, exists within, that is the quality of your mind. So for that, I would like to recommend all of you very simple thing, just give yourself every day five minutes of completely free time for yourself. <clears throat> completely free time for yourself. Not to have to depend on phones, computers, meetings, wife, husband, any ideas, any plans, anything. Just give five minutes to be completely free. Relax in whatever way you want. Of course, there are many, many gurus today. They will tell you to do this, do that, do that. That's a business. So I'm not here to tell you to do this, do this, do that. I'm here to just become a mirror so that you see yourself. That is where real wisdom lies. I know 
how successful you are in your business, you are truly capable of achieving something great if you are able to give just five minutes of your life. As a friend, you see, I travel all over the world and I meet all sorts of people around the world. I do not find anyone is stranger to me. I don't look at you as a CEO or that billionaire or that famous person. No, I don't look at that way. I look at everyone as a living, breathing being. I know, like myself, you all struggle. When I look in your eyes, I see vulnerabilities, no matter how successful you are in your company. I see the pain and sorrow, same as what I am going through. Journey of life is not easy for anyone. It's a struggle. But I feel compassion. I feel love to share with everyone because we are so fortunate to be able to take the journey of life together. So, as a friend, I would like to request all of you to see how many of you will be able to commit five minutes. Please raise your hands. You see? This is the beauty. You are not hesitating even for a second. You are raising your hands. Please remember that ability. You know, all the time, no matter where you are, no matter what kind of situation you are in, we cannot solve anything on this earth because of this gift that we have received, this human intelligence. So I'm very thrilled to be here with all of you to say a few words. It's not that I'm uh, such a big deal, you know, master that I have something very fantastic things to give you. But I know one thing from teaching around the world for the last 35 years. I have given talks and seminars in temples, retreat centers and monasteries, and in schools and colleges and universities like Harvard, Yale, and Columbia, and everywhere. From this experience, what I feel, really, the most important thing is to acknowledge that you all are going through stress. You all are going through pain. Very important is for me to relate to you as same common being who is taking the journey and we are willing to accept each other as someone who needs friends and families and relatives and supporters. As a supporter, I'm appearing in front of you. I, I know you, know you have much greater speakers than me. You have many, many more important people in this room. For my part, this is simple as service. I mean, Bansuni, Sevani Dharma Ho. So, as far as I'm concerned, I have dedicated my life to serve in whatever way I can. Because in serving, I find freedom. In serving, I find joy. In serving, I find celebration. And last, in a few years, I'm traveling around to share my vision. That is very important, I feel, to establish world peace through inner peace. And I come up with the vision to establish that universal peace destination in Lumbini, Nepal. And I feel that Lumbini should be the fountain of peace because that is the place where great mother 
Queen Maya Devi sacrificed her life to express her unconditional love by giving birth to Prince Siddhartha. Even though she knew and she was told that she would not live to raise her child, nonetheless, she had conviction and courage to uphold her responsibility as a mother in a most meaningful way. She gave birth as Rishis and Munis told her in her palace. She did not live to raise her child. Today, all of us, there's no one here without mother. All of us experience gift of love from our mothers. That kind of unconditional love should be the basis for lasting peace. Lasting peace in the world, lasting peace within. Te shanti dam banoni ko silsilama, Nepal bikas ko lagi. What I'm trying to do is international top business leaders join me here in Nepal to interact with all of you. Of course, I'm not a businessman. I never had to do one single dollar of business in my life. And I do not know how to do business either. But these business leaders around the world are respecting me and honoring me and listening to me. And they have resources. They have creativities. They have main power. I thought, as I build Universal Peace Sanctuary in Lumbini, it will be very meaningful if I can give opportunity for all our business leaders in Nepal to have interaction with them. Imagine someday, as I continue doing the construction in Lumbini, if I'm able to bring world business leaders. And in this room, if I'm able to have half of the members from Nepal, half of the members from all over the world, I can see you guys will be able to create a magic. Last year, I was in Davos to attend World Economic Forum. So I realized that how these business leaders are eager to involve in charitable activities. So for me, charitable activities is not about building the peace sanctuary in Lumbini alone. No matter what community that I am in with or whoever I am with, if I can find a ways to raise this awareness. This is also one way of serving, and this is also my way of sort of like a interacting with all of you. Before I end my short uh, appearance here, I would like to also share that on International Peace Day, which is September 21st, we have a peace gala. And uh, I have written a musical play about the Maya Devi giving birth to her child and celebrating in Tilarakot Palace and Lumbini. Here to really bring the Nepali culture, Nepali music, Nepali history as symbolizing as a Maya Devi. And I have written this play and we are presenting this in the Nepal Academy Hall in Kamaladi, so I would like to invite all of you to join me to celebrate together International Peace Day if you are available, if you are in Kathmandu. And also that night, especially we have world-class gala dinner. Uh, we are inviting top 500 business leaders and uh, celebrities and uh, well-known personalities to have world-class gala dinner, red carpet reception. So any of you are interested and able to join us as a Lifetime Peace member, please do so, because we have many, many more things to share with you. Of course, today is a very limited time, so I can just give you the glimpse of everything what I am doing. And uh, 
you know, most important thing is life is a celebration. You know, any time we have opportunity to celebrate, any excuse we can get to celebrate our life, please do so. Don't try to do it tomorrow. Don't try to do it next month. Don't try to do it next year. <laughs> Don't try to do it even one hour from now. Try to celebrate now. This moment is never going to pause for us because life is not a rehearsal. Since I realized that I will not be able to talk for very long, I decided that uh, I will share my book with all of you so that you will have much more interaction. Pratek Swasma Ananda Purnatak Jivan is my book. So we have a few copies here, two, three hundred copies. So I would like to give you that as a gift to all of you. And also we will share invitation to join us if you are able to. It will be wonderful to have you all together. And anything that I can do to interact with all of you, please feel free you know, to sort of contact me through your organization. Let's take the journey of life together. Let's find ways to celebrate our lives together. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. His Eminence Shalpa Tenzing Rinpoche is here. One more time, a huge round of applause for him, please. <laughs> also, I'd like to invite on stage Ms. Samjana Sharma, co-chairperson, Sales Summit Steering Committee, uh, to give the token of appreciation to His Eminence. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you so much for being here. Uh, I hope we all can be a part of the universal peace that he's been talking about and the day that we could celebrate together, so. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. I'd like to request to please be seated. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, as we end this session, session notice that you all were just listening to it. Very insightful discussion. So, which definitely makes a lot of sense. We are leaving every single moment that we are living now. So, your present moment, we call it mindfulness. 